Hey what's up guys, my name is Suke Outfire and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get better FPS in CSGO. Now just a quick disclaimer before this video starts, if you're running at like 10 to 30 FPS this video is not really going to help you and I would recommend upgrading to a better computer obviously. From my experience if you happen to save up like $500 and know how to build a PC and even if you don't you could just look it up on YouTube or something, you could get a pretty good PC if you're running games like CSGO for only $500. It is a lot of money but if you save up I guess guarantee you it's going to be worth it but besides that let's get right into the video. So first of all I want to be going over some things that are fairly obvious but I mean some people are new to the game so they might not know all of this so first of all this is probably one of the biggest things that helps your FPS is lowering your resolution. I see a lot of people playing on 16 by 9 and I personally don't even like this resolution. I play in a, a lower resolution by default because I just feel like it's easier to hit shots and I get better FPS of course. I prefer going on 4 by 3 and like 1280 by 960 or 1280 by 1024 these are some of the best resolutions in my opinion especially for 4x3 I just feel like it's pretty good and I mean you'll get used to it over time it probably will feel weird at first but it's definitely really good uh, next up we have a few in-game commands for console and if you don't actually know how to access your console all you have to do is go into settings and just stay on whatever the default one is scroll all the way down and go to toggle console Make sure you have a key set for this and then you pretty much just tap the key and you can type in whatever command you want. But the first command I would type if you're trying to get better FPS is FPS underscore max zero. This pretty much makes it so there's no cap for your FPS and you could go however high as you want. And you might be thinking, well, I don't even get above like 300 FPS. Why would I need this? Now, I'm not exactly 100% sure behind the reasoning on this, but I think maxing it out at 300 FPS kind of limits your computer even more. And setting it to zero will just make it so you're, I, I don't I don't know the exact reasoning. All I know is it gets you better FPS, which is, which is pretty good. Next up, we have cl underscore force preload one this pretty much preloads the whole map and sound so you aren't doing it like when you're getting in game so it makes the map pretty much load faster and you get better fps on it Next up we have a ton of R underscore I commands. These don't really help you that much if I'm going to be honest, but they do do some stuff. They pretty much stop the like eye movement and eye gloss on the models. They aren't really that big, but if you're getting under like 60 FPS, everything's going to help. So yeah, these are some cool commands you could try and type in too. And for our final in-game command, we have CL underscore disable HTML MOTD1. This pretty much makes it so if you're playing on a community server, there's no message that shows up at the beginning when you go in aka no advertisements which will not only save you a lot of time but also will help your fps a lot now there's actually some servers that don't allow you on the server if you have this turned off but there's not a ton of them and this definitely helps your fps if you like playing on community servers and for our next commands we're going to be setting some launch options on csgo now these pretty much make it so they always happen in your game you don't have to keep setting these and they're just options that like when the game starts up these happen for the first one we're going to want to do minus freq and, and then however many hertz your monitor has now mine only is 60 so it's default by that so i don't have to change anything but if you have 144 or 240 hertz monitor you would either want to type 144 or 240 now if you don't have 144 or 240 monitor do not type this because it will mess up your game a lot and it might even give your computer a heart attack so don't do that but next up we have a command called minus high this pretty much makes it so the game is set to not run on high settings so simple enough you're going to be running on lower graphics which gets you more fps and pretty much the last thing besides that is to make sure you're close out of all your other tabs that aren't csgo especially google chrome because google chrome makes me lag a ton in game if you want to record stuff i wouldn't recommend doing it if you don't have a like decently high-end computer because it will not only make you lag a ton but the footage will probably look bad and yeah that pretty much does wrap up this video guys so if these commands helped you get better fps in csgo feel free to leave a like and subscribe and besides that that pretty much is it so i will see you guys in the next one peace